welcome to Chipmunk of Power. This is an impromptu little unscripted video, so very exciting, very nerve-wracking. Everybody nowadays seems to be doing those unboxing videos, so I thought, what the hey, I'm hip, I'm cool, I'm modern. I'll give it a go. So, I ordered some books, and they came in, and I can't wait to see them. Let's find out what we got. Here we are. Big old package from Amazon. Look at that. Gosh, that is a... Feels like two books. Feels like two books. Let's find out. I was right. They're books. First up, oh my gosh, they seem to have stuff like everything in here at once. What's in my other boxes? <laughs> okay, first off, oh, what is it? It's Poison Feather by Matthew Fitzsimmons. I was recommended this by another friend on Twitter, and I don't regret it. I read the first book in the series. Here, where is it? It's The Short Drop in the Gibson Vaughn series, and it was so good. I don't normally read like thrillers or whatever, but this was just so well written. So, I got a next one. At least I'm pretty sure it's the next one. Anyway, it's another one in the series, and I'm very excited about reading this. I will post a review of those on Amazon and here when I'm done with it. Next in the package, what's here? Ooh, it is Playing with Fire by Chris and Claire Myers. Chris and Claire Myers are fantastic folks I know from the Twitters. And frankly, they've been bugging me for ages to get their book. And I finally had some extra money. So I'm like, I'm going to order Chris and Claire's book. And here it is. I can't wait to read it. Let's see. It's about a thief and a mercenary. Ooh. And they got supernatural powers. Oh, intriguing. Again review will be forthcoming both here but on amazon it looks exciting i can't wait to check it out next in the package <laughs> oh this one is very exciting under the water was stone poetry by william stratton i'm not much for poetry generally i like it but i just can't get into it i certainly can't write it most of my poetry education consists of a child's garden of verses which is excellent poetry it's just i never got past it the reason i picked this up is because william stratton is an old classmate of mine we went to school together for years so when i found out he was a writer too i'm like I gotta pick that up and again so excited to read this 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 is not a book this is food wrap beeswax wrap i'm excited to use this too but not a not a, not a book next ha the book of forbidden wisdom by jillian murray kendall again jillian murray kendall is a great gal i knew from the twitters so i am very excited to read her book she is a very cool gal but with the title, I'm a little like the Book of Forbidden Wisdom. Should I even, ah, you know, is something going to happen to me if I open this? It says, in a world of blood, ooh, in a world, great start, sorry. In a world of blood and betrayal, love is the only redemption. Mmm, intriguing right off the bat. Magic, journey, marriage, childhood, friend, ooh, <laughs> very much excitement, intrigue. Package numero dos. Open, 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 open. Kind of open. Ah, scissors are hard, okay? Oh, I'm very excited about this one, too. Ta -da! The Contrary Tale of Butterfly Girl by Ishbel B. Look at this cover. Look at it. It's so pretty. I picked that one up because I have the first one, The Singular and Extraordinary Tale of Mir and Goliath. This was a very interesting piece of Victorian adventure, steampunkish, if you will. It's 
a mad little book, mad in the Alice in Wonderland sort of definition. It's very unusual. She plays a lot with formatting and expression, and I loved it. So I am super excited to read this second one. Look at that. It says right on the back, a darkly twisted Victorian melodrama like Alice in Wonderland goes to hell. <laughs> I can believe it after reading the first one. That's that's basically it. And that's a ringing endorsement if I ever heard one. Less box, less box. Okay, this should be a little easier to open, right? Because you don't need a scissors. Or do you? Isn't it normally a strippy thingy for the no? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I, I think I found it. Maybe. Why do they make these things so hard to get into? Ha ha ha! I've got it. I've got it. And this one is The Fire Above by Robin Bennis. This is another sequel. Why? Because I read the first one, The Guns Above. Robin Bennis I do not personally know from the Twitters, but I know her from the Twitters. I happened to see her book go by and was like, <gasps> that is totally up my alley. Steampunk adventure, very much my thing. I read this and I fell in love. Her characters are just amazing. Her description of things, it, the ship, adventure, the whole history and land and everything. I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. It's very, very good. So again, psyched to read the second one. Last book, and it's about darn time I got to this. Dancing at Midnight by Rebecca Yelland. Rebecca Yelland is another Twitter lady. She is so great. And she has a fantastic first name, don't you think? Now, according to the back, this is a drama about Carolyn Graves returns to her childhood home following the death of her mother. Oh, after a 15 year absence, I forgot that part. Uh, do, 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 do. Carolyn learns the truth about her parents' relationship and the secrets they have kept hidden for decades. Ooh, sounds exciting. Ah, I am just so psyched to read all of these. And again, I will post reviews here on Amazon like a good reader does. And in the meantime, check out the description. I'm going to put links to these authors. Check out more of their work. I will see you next week. And until then, write with power.